morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Sioka Lincoln of Lawrenceville to hey, check out this brand new 2025 Lincoln Corsair. This is the Reserve 2 with all-wheel drive, the color pristine white metallic with a smoke truffle leather interior. So we're going to go through this Corsair, and you can let me know. Is this the premium branded subcompact SUV that you would buy? So let's dig in. Front end of our Corsair Reserve 2. Pristine white metallic going great with the black roof, which I think is a good color combo. Full spread of LED lighting up front. We got some chrome bling because we got reserve two. The Lincoln badge right on the middle of the grill. And now as we come around to our wheel and tire setup, what do we get when we go Lincoln Corsair reserve two? We get a 19 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel. Lincoln badge on the center cap. These wheels are wrapped in Michelin Primacy all-season tires. 225 on the width, a 55 series sidewall, 19s, all four corners, all-wheel drive. Moving on out, the pristine white with the black. As we move in closer, we have the Corsair call-out on the front door with some chrome bling. Gloss black side view mirrors, LED turn signals, 360 degree view cameras, color matched on the front and rear door handle, left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we have the color matched roof spoiler, and then the black roof shark fin antenna panoramic sunroof. Rear end of our Corsair, the roof spoiler coming off the top, the wiper down below on the glass. Probably could have tucked that like they do on the other Lincolns, like the Aviator. Lincoln spelled out in the middle of the tailgate, full LED lighting in the back as well with some brushed aluminum down below and a functional dual exhaust. We're under the hood of this 25 Corsair, and we have Lincoln's two liter EcoBoost inline four cylinder engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission, 250 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 21 in the city, 28 on the highway, 24 combined. Before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much? Well, here we go. Base price for the 25 Corsair Reserve, $48,840. We have $2,700 in options on this vehicle, which we'll check out when we go through the window sticker. Once we add those in, and a destination and delivery fee of $1,495 from Lincoln's Louisville, Kentucky assembly plant. We have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $53,035. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we're going to go with the soft touch all the way across the top. Soft touch here on the black insert. We got some gloss black, but it is has a design in it, so it is fingerprint repellent, I would say. Here's your full set of power seats with lumbar, three memory seat settings. Now we got the smoke truffle leather, nice and soft. Gloss black around the switch gear, even though the switch gear itself is flat black. And we do have power fold mirrors coming on down. Decent sized door pocket, standard audio system. And as we move on in to the foot box, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with the all season mats in the vehicle that say Corsair. The aluminum Lincoln door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Full power for the driver and front passenger. Here is the smoke truffle leather. Nice and soft, a little bit light, so you got to worry about staining, but it is very soft. Front passenger door panel, same as the driver, except you don't get memory seat settings. Up top, soft touch, some faux wood trim right in here. The more of the smoke truffle into your heat and air vent. And then down below, nice large glove box. Infotainment system time, we have Lincoln's 13.2 inch Sync 4 wireless CarPlay Android Auto. Great pinch to zoom at a Sync 4. We have dual panel action right there, which is a nice touch. Down below here, you do have your three-stage heated seats, three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger with the heated steering wheel. So they got you all set there. Now, we can go to our Lincoln badge up here on the front left. That gets us to our home screen where we have our maps. We have our Sirius XM. We can click on that. We have the Sirius XM. We go to our sources. We have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and our Bluetooth. We can go back. We can go back to home. And then we have also have an area where you can pair your phone. We have our vehicle settings, features, and apps. So we go into features. 
You got your driver assistance, owner's manual online, as well as your recorder. And then we can go to our vehicle settings where we can go ahead and set up our clock, our driver profiles, our speaker sound settings, our connectivity like our Wi-Fi hotspot. You have the uh, Lincoln Way where you can uh, connect this vehicle up with your smartphone. You have ambient lighting right here that you can choose from with the white exterior and the smoke truffle. I don't know. Maybe we go with this one here instead. But you can set it up and now you're all set. And you can go back to the home and you are good to go. So it's nice and easy to use. We go to reverse. And we have a huge backup camera with trajectory, 360 degree view. So it looks really, really good, really, really nice. Back to park. And now we're back to the beginning. So it's a really easy system to use in Sync 4. I really like it. Now we have two heat and air vents down below. We have our push button start with push buttons to go through this eight speed automatic. A lot of gloss black in here, so be careful. We got the Lincoln and Chrome, a volume button, lane keep assist on or off, Parking cameras, four-way hazards, engine auto stop, start on, off, traction control off, max defrost. Down further, we do have an area for, uh, for your wireless charging pad, I should say, with a USB-A and a USB-C. And you can also just cover that up, and that's flat black, which is nice. Or you can open it up and leave it open. Drive modes, which we'll check out when we go through the dash. Electric emergency brake. Two cup holders. You can see that ambient lighting we have on now. And now, our Lincoln key fob, here it is, unlock, lock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, Lincoln badge on the back, smoke truffle soft armrest, open it up, and we do have a small area for, for maybe coins, and then a 12 volt. Corsair steering wheel, we have a two-tone leather wrap wheel. Here is your voice commands up on your 10 o'clock notch. Lincoln badge on the horn button, round bottom wheel, but I have plenty of room to get in and out of this vehicle. We have volume, and then we have our cruise control on or off. So if we turn it on, then it shows up on either side of the wheel. You turn it off, it goes away. Controls for the digital dash, as well as your music and whatnot, telephone commands. We do have paddles that are plastic. I would like to see these in metal to go up and down the 8-speed automatic manually. On the left side, you have your... Uh, adaptive high beams, turn signals on the right front and rear wiper with your uh, washers. And then down here on the left, you can pop the tailgate, adjust your headlight controls, brighten and dim the dash. And we do have an electric tilting and telescoping wheel. And then our digital instrument cluster is right here. There we go. Looks good. Drive modes. Here we go. Turning the dial to the left. We have normal, and then we have excite, and then we have conserve, which is like eco, and then back the other way, that's sport, we have slippery for like snow mode. So I think for today, we'll leave it in normal. Maybe we'll give it a spin in sport a little bit later. And then you have additional information you can go through that you may want to see. You can just set up your display how you want to have it. You can go back here, and then you have additional information you can go through to see what you want to see. Overhead console, spot for your shades right there. Now, if you want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, the button with the picture of the car with the door open stays off. So when you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, lighting will dim out, and then we have our shade and our roof. So we hit the button, and the shape panoramic shade will go back. Stops halfway, you hit it again, goes back all the way, just like that. And then we can open the glass, one touch, wind buffeter goes up, glass goes back, halfway a second time, and then one touch back. Tilt function as well, and then you can bring your shade back, one touch, it should stop halfway, and then a second touch and it'll come back all the way. There we go. Rear view mirror, frameless rear view mirror with auto dim, sun visor, there's your garage door programmables right there. Open it up, we have a vanity and lights. And does it slide? Yes, it does. 
getting in the back seat of our Corsair. But first, the rear door panel, same action as the front with the soft touch and the smoked truffle leather. Gloss black again, some of that designed gloss black with the rib function to cut out fingerprints. Not sure why they didn't do it down here. We got the chrome door handle, but nice consistency of design front to back. I have the seat set for my driving position. Nice flat roof, easy to get into at 5 foot 11. Door closed, plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees as well. But then we have plastic and a cargo net, and that's just not the Lincoln way. This needs to be something nicer than that, especially in a reserve two. Now, on our center console, two heat and air vents. And then down further, we got four USB-Cs. So we got tons of USB-Cs in this Corsair. Back seats, same leather with the headrest, with the smoke truffle, perforation, nice and soft. And now our armrest, semi-soft, two cup holders. So very, very comfortable here in the back of this Corsair. Getting in the cargo area of the Corsair, you can pop it from the key fob, you can pop the tailgate from the dash, or you can come to the back and underneath the L in Lincoln, there's a button, you hit it, nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button. Now, with the rear seats up, 27.6 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Corsair. Moving on in, here are the carpeted floor mats. We do have a 12 volt for power back here and some lighting. And then underneath here, we do have the spare that they charge you extra for. And then from here, you can drop the rear seat. So if you want to do the left, we hit the left button, down they go. Do the right, hit the right button, down they go. And now, with the rear seats down, we're looking at 57.6 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Corsair. Corsair window sticker, here we go. 25 Reserve 2, pristine white. Standard equipment left to right. Options. We got the hands-free tailgate as part of 201A. I never try to do that on camera because it never works when the camera's on. <laughs> ah, we got the pristine white for an additional charge, the panoramic vista roof, and your mini spare. Pricing. Total vehicle MSRP made by Lincoln in Louisville, Kentucky. Fuel economy estimates. Safety ratings. Take this baby up for spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 25 Corsair Reserve 2 all-wheel drive. Right off the bat, plenty of visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirror, rear window, no problem. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, pre-collision, all that action in the vehicle for safety as well as exterior LED lighting up front and out back for safety as well. Suspension is really soft here in normal mode as a Lincoln should be. It's giving you a very comfortable ride. These seats very cushy, very poofy, very comfortable on the back and on the rump, which is nice. You got the smoked truffle leather. It's very elegant on the inside, as again, a Lincoln should be. Now, we're going to come around here. We're going to check out our brakes. It stops in a straight line. Now we'll get going. We got somebody behind us. We can't mess around too much. And this eight-speed automatic just shifts smoothly. The... Uh, two liter eco boost it just gets the vehicle up to speed and down the road quite easily so it feels good it feels good it drives well handles pretty well let's try it out it's going to be a little roly-poly i would imagine and it is but it dives in pretty well i would have to say here for a subcompact suv the uh the steering wheel i like the way it feels in my hands and it is light, but it is direct. So it is tight and it's right uh, here in this Corsair. So it is a really pleasant, easy vehicle to drive. I can see why Lincoln sells a lot of these Corsairs. Uh, they just feel really, really good. 
Now the question for the consumer is, this is a reserve two at 53 grand. It's a good, it's a lot of money for a subcompact SUV, whether it's a premium brand or not. And for the consumer is, is this too expensive? Should, do I need to go with a, a, a luxury premium branded subcompact SUV? Or can I get, a, a, get away with a regular uh, non-premium brand uh, subcompact SUV like the Ford Escape which is shares a platform with this Corsair even though they drive completely differently now we have 18.5 foot uh, turning radius nice and quick all the way around no problem now as I mentioned we'll switch it on over to Excite and we'll see how it goes Now it really, really, you can see a difference, right? The ride uh, tightens up a little bit. The shifts are quicker out of this eight speed and it gets up the speed a lot quicker. So I like the fact that there's a difference in the drive mode. So we'll go back to normal and we'll go down the road, but you know, they did a nice job on this. It all depends on cost at the end of the day. Uh, when you're looking at a vehicle, especially a premium branded vehicle, and uh, whether you really need something like this or you can get away with something lesser, you let me know in the comments if that if you're in the market for this premium branded subcompact SUV, would you check out a Corsair? Would you give it a shot? Would you take it for a drive? Or doesn't this trip your trigger? You're gonna go somewhere else with your hard earned money? Put it in the comments and let me know. But I do wanna thank Sioka Lincoln of Lawrenceville here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2025 Lincoln Corsair Reserve II in pristine white metallic for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.